Well, because of rising rates, understandably, home buyers did not want variable rate mortgages. But with the Bank of Canada widely expected to pivot this year, Canadians taking on those variable rate mortgages have been on the rise. It's coming a little bit earlier than our next economist was expecting. We've got Farah Amran, who's senior economist at Scotia Bank. We just can't seem to uh, wean off our addiction of housing, and even the prospect of rate cuts is enough to lure buyers and, and, and rate shoppers, I guess, back into the market. Yes, absolutely. Uh, home sales picked up in December. It was a surprising jump for everybody, I think, and that continued into January. And the bank hasn't even started cutting rates or signaled that it's about to. And really, even fixed rates, when we look at them between November and December, they ticked down, but really barely enough to have an impact on affordability or an ability to qualify. So this increase in sales um, activity did happen sooner than we expected, for sure. What does this mean for the Bank of Canada? Because as of the most recent speeches, it seemed like the bank was trying to not wash its hands of of what's going on in housing, but but basically saying, you know, there's there's limits in how much they can control of it. Well, it's true because the Bank of Canada's main objective is the inflation target. The Bank of Canada targets 2% inflation, and that's what it focuses on. Inflation is not at 2%, it's above 2%. So the Bank of Canada will continue um, targeting the policy rate towards bringing inflation back to target, rather than trying to control the housing market via that tool. It's an instrument that is a blunt instrument intended to merely target the inflation. Ultimately, do you think it complicates the Bank of Canada's um, desire or ability to cut rates? It could very well uh, do that, yes. I mean, you know, house prices have not started increasing with the increase in sales that we've seen. Um, but that is typical. Typically, prices lag the increase in sales uh, or the decline in sales. So it could be that prices start increasing in a couple of months, and that would put upward pressure on inflation. But the other part of how housing impacts the uh, Bank of Canada's mission is that it increases economic activity. Uh, it has, once sales increase, there are spillover effects on other sectors in the economy that are related to housing, like furniture and renovation. And therefore, when home sales pick up, uh, economic activity also picks up. And we are in an environment where the Bank of Canada is actively trying to slow down economic activity uh, to create an excess supply and bring inflation back to target. So this increase in sales um, could remove some of this excess supply and um, complicate the Bank of Canada's task.